Students in Laura Migdahl's seventh grade English class are learning about a reading strategy called visualization. If I think about my thinking, think about what's going on in my brain, I have pictures forming. What are you guys thinking? I see a man like jumping out of his plane like from here and he's like kind of floating down and his plane's going the other way. That's a great image. We've got some pictures here of a guy jumping out of an airplane in a parachute. Just doing that doodle as you read is going to help you really see what's going on when text is difficult, okay? Laura builds on her visualization lesson demonstrating a technology tool called Google Draw, an online drawing tool which allows students to create and easily share their illustrations with others and provides an opportunity for students to build background knowledge. So look, all these pictures that I've put on here have really helped me figure out what's happening in this passage. And then notice I put some words in here. Laura incorporates a variety of technology tools into her lesson plans on a daily basis. Students use Web 2.0 sites such as blogs, wikis, Google Apps, Blackboard, and sites like Read Write Think. She says the use of technology embedded in her instruction has fostered a creative learning environment for her students. Kids love technology. Kids really, really just enjoy the novelty and the, the multimedia that it adds to a classroom. Um, it also makes it, the learning very personal, so there is an engagement. The technology really, really enhances it. The critical thinking and the creative aspect of a uh, language arts classroom, I am able to give students so much choice in what they do and just so many creative options. It really allows every kid to find a way to communicate what they know in a way that they like, or that's comfortable, or that's interesting, or that challenges them. For an activity like visualization, I, we gave kids a choice if they wanted to access what was in their brain and really get a picture of what was happening in the text. Some of them wanted to draw that to bring it out. Whereas if kids wanted to do more of a research visualization to look at what a World War II plane looks like or parachutes, um, they could use visualization as a, almost a research tool and they had that choice. I want to show you how different um, visualizations can be. In my mind I visualized like a plane that was like hurling toward the ground and it was on fire and it was like chaotic. I saw the plane flying and the other plane shooting the guy and the plane crash in the ground in the grass and the guy um, jumping out of the plane. Laura believes that the use of technology in her classroom promotes student engagement and facilitates collaboration among her students. So many people say that technology pulls kids apart and sucks them into a screen, but I really find that the technology brings kids together because they like to share what they know, they like to teach each other. It's a vehicle that helps them um, bridge the gap between each other and, and really do a lot more sharing. I also find that technology is getting kids to multitask. Not only are they talking about a book or writing an essay, but they're using a lot of resources simultaneously. They may be in a Google Doc and working in a database at the same time and having a chat with the group that they're working with. It's a vehicle to let them do a lot more things at once, which I think is using more of their brain and just keeps them focused on what they're doing. On day two of Laura's Lit Circle lesson, each student group is given an agenda and they work on shared documents within Google Docs. Laura uses technology to weave critical and creative thinking skills into her lesson. She demonstrates a skill-based activity creating a Wordle, which encourages student talk, cooperative learning, and critical thinking. So you guys have to make some judgments. The students then run their own discussion groups and Laura becomes the facilitator. The technology has brought a huge change into my classroom. The students are empowered. The students are driving so much of what's happening. That's what makes it real for them. It's not me being the expert. It brings us to a more even playing field, and they're more invested, and so they'll give you more back and be more active in their learning. They are the ones sharing with each other, creating, writing, reading, interacting with text. They are much more apt now to go and find the answer. They want to go and find the best way to do something or the best way to understand something. And they like to help each other. For teachers who are interested in bringing more technology into their own classroom, Laura offers this advice. Be patient, 
and have a little bit of fun with it. Students enjoy the technology. Students want to do things in different ways. They don't want the same old thing. And it goes back to that engagement piece. Kids want to learn. And so if you give them something different, something interesting, they're going to join you. They're going to be partners with you in learning. As time goes on in a language arts classroom, we have more and more that we need to accomplish. And I think technology is going to be at the center of what's going to let us meet all those needs.